Introducing Composer Editor 2.0, a completely redesigned editor experience that combines design with practicality to enhance your productivity and creativity. We heard your feedback. Composer's actions are too spread out, the options are overwhelming, and it's hard to see what you need when you need it. The new editor fixes all of that. A consolidated work bar displays the name and story details at the top. All primary work actions now appear in one location. A new two-pane view lets you easily review your story and metadata side by side. You can even collapse the tabs pane to view the story in full screen mode. We also improve the editing experience with all sorts of shortcuts and navigation options. For instance, you can now change heading styles directly in the editor and use keyboard shortcuts to create lists. Commenting is also more intuitive. You can directly access comments from selected text, start typing immediately, and more easily add replies without additional clicks. Comments also now appear only when you focus on commented text, keeping the editorial space clear to help you focus more. One of the biggest additions is the introduction of modes of work, editing, suggesting, and read-only. Suggesting lets users review and suggest edits without making changes in the actual story. Read-only mode lets you review the story even if someone else is actively working in it. And here's a few more enhancements that will make your life easier. No longer do you have to select block types to create paragraphs, headings, or lists. These are automatically detected based on the formatting options you select. Primary website and circulations are conveniently grouped together. We've removed extra revisions that were being created unnecessarily. Were you frustrated with dragging and dropping large content elements? We've reduced the height so you have more real estate to move content. And now you can cut and paste all content elements anywhere in the story body. When you change alignment, the float indicator updates in real time to show that the change is made. To create hyperlinks, you can simply paste a URL directly over the relevant text and the system creates a link for you, or use Command or Control K. And actions that used to live on the right-hand side now live in the editor's menu, centralizing all your actions in one place. That's just a preview of what awaits you in Composer Editor 2.0, but check it out for yourself in ArcXP, and as always, let us know what you think.